welcome to DataPine. Today I'd like to show you the two new chart options that we have available for you. Over here on the left, you'll see we have the gauge chart, and I'll show you just how many visualization options you have with regards to it. But in this case, what it's showing us is we have a target of 3 million, we're at just over 2 million, and on a visual basis, it's showing us we still have a ways to go. And then also on a number basis, it's saying that we're you know, more or less 32% away from where we should be. So it's similar to a number, but there's a, an additional visual component. Um, and then hopefully this is pretty clear. We have uh, a map finally. Uh, we're really happy about it. Um, some cool things that you can do. So you can plot, of course, country. Um, city and then also latitude and longitude if you want to become really specific as to where your customers are coming from, where your revenue is coming from, etc. And then also from the dashboard level, you can also drill down. So this is something new for that DataPine. Uh, so if I want to look at uh, North America, of course, and then if I wanted to then zoom into uh, the USA, I can do that very easily. Okay. So let's take a look at how easy it is to create the charts. Uh, we've kept it simple, as you would expect from us. Let's jump across to the analyzer. So whatever metric you want to measure, so whatever field you want to measure. So again, in this case, we're looking at um, you know the the sales. Um, it could be revenue, it could be anything else. Um, importance, uh, the x-axis. You either going to drag across country, city, or latitude and longitude. Uh, typically, there'll be two separate fields, so you'll need to drag both across into the x-axis and then of course you can have something in decompose which will bring up a pie chart and basically decompose uh, whatever that field is and then filter of course you can have as many fields as in there as you would like to basically drill down into that data so it's very very simple we've given you a lot of options with regards to the way that you um, visualize the data so clearly anything you know uh, any names um, numbers etc you can uh, influence over here and the zoom option, this is uh, very interesting because um, not everyone is a global company. So if I just have customers in Australia, for example, I might always want the chart to start on Australia because that, that just makes sense for my business. So you can do that with the options over here. And then finally, do I want to uh, see a color? Um, so lighter means less, darker means more. Uh, you can, of course, choose the colors. My personal preference, of course, is the bubble. That's why I have it on my dashboard. And then when you have a bubble, you can make them bigger or smaller. And then you can also influence the opacity and also, the, of course, the, the color itself. Let's take a look at the gauge chart. So here we go. Okay. Gauge is really, really simple. So you need to have one variable in the y-axis. You can have a number of variables in the filter, but leave the other boxes uh, clear. And then the, the options are, are really uh, as many as we've ever had for a chart type. So let's start with the style. Um, you can have a three quarter circle, a quarter or a full circle. So basically all those options there. The width of the actual, um, so how thick is this? So very thin, thin, etc., etc. Uh, the base color, it relates to this over here, so the unfulfilled portion of your target. And then we can also have um, an angular gauge, which will bring in another visual component. So are we on track? Are we not on track, uh, etc. And we can then have a look at the target values. So do I want um, you know, bad to mean 30% of target? and good to mean 75% of target? If so, you can do that very easily. Um, and then of course you can change your colors down here also. And then target value is something that you want to either put in manually, because maybe 3 million of revenue is what you want every quarter or every month. And then you can also compare it to a previous period. So um, compared to last month, you know where are, are we in comparison? And then data labels, um, yeah, <laughs> everything that you can possibly imagine on the actual chart itself, you influence and you are in full control of. So hopefully you'll agree. Um, we've had really good positive feedback so far. They really do add something new to the dashboard. Um, and yeah, if you need any help getting familiar, please do let us know. Thanks for watching and all the best.